Actor Scott Lincoln developed a unique hobby after undergoing cancer surgery on his neck, tongue, and head. After Scott had cancer and he was convalescing and it was time for him to start building his body back up again, he started taking these walks. I'd see dogs. If I see them a few times and they appear to be in high distress, then I'll do what I can to grab them. And you know, it's hard to catch most dogs. They're usually, you know, homeless, hungry. You feed them, they're grateful. Over the years, we've collected 37 now. I, I've always been able to integrate them, find homes for them. I've never had a failure as far as placing them. One unusual stray, John B., would break Scott's streak of success. John B., I saw probably seven times in two weeks. And every time he looked worse and thinner. And I mean, he looked awful. And he was covered with scars on his face, little nicks, and had no fur at all, a three inch band around his neck. And, and my vet said he thought he'd been chained. You're a very good boy. John B. is what they call a Korean Jindo, which is one of the oldest breeds. We're seeing some belly now. We began to feed him, and he got stronger. And with that, he became more aggressive. He can be so well behaved, especially on a walk, because Scott trained him to do that. John B's problem, he won't submit to me in the house. I mean, if we're out in the yard, he'll lie down, he'll roll over, I rub his belly, everything's fine. We're in the house, no matter what we're doing, if he's down and, and I try to turn him over, he'll attack me. Sit, sit. Down, down me. Oh, hey. oh, yeah, trying to find a home for John B. You know, was out of the question as long as he was exhibiting the aggression. 